She's won 11 Grammys, sold more than 100 million albums. Here you come again. And after 44 chart-topping records in her legendary career, you ask if it's worth the sacrifice. Country icon Dolly Parton dropped her first ever rock album, Rockstar. What's going on? And it seemed to be a really big hit. This national treasure is still rocking after just celebrating her 78th birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, well, thank you very much. How else anyway. did you celebrate? Oh, actually, I worked all day. I'm doing a Broadway musical of my life. We worked all day, and then we decided that about 4 o'clock, okay, we got to celebrate my birthday. So oh, that's good. what we did. The Grand Ole Opry celebrated the Queen of Country with a night of performances dedicated to her. But the concert made headlines when El King performed Dolly's song, Marry Me, but was seemingly drunk and forgot the lyrics. Elle is really a great artist. She's a great girl. And she's been going through a lot of hard things lately. And she just had a little too much to drink. So let's just forgive that and forget it and move on, because she felt worse than anybody ever could. Dolly and her spotlight-shy husband of 58 years, Carl, missed out on the bash. Now, did Carl surprise you with anything for your birthday? Yeah, he surprised me by giving me nothing. Uh-oh. I hope you put him in the doghouse. <laughs> no, not really. Actually, I didn't see him till the next day. We don't really have to buy big gifts for each other, but he'll always get me some fun, little sweet something he thinks that I can use. Now, would you consider him more romantic or you? I'm more of the romantic one and planning things. But he's very sweet and romantic because like every spring, he'll get a mason jar and he'll bring me a big bouquet of yellow flowers. Every now and then he'll write a poem for me and that's always the sweetest thing ever. Now, do you guys ever write together? No. <laughs> Lord, no, no, we don't do that. We have our own personalities and he's proud and happy with me for for what I do, and he's a homebody. He loves his barn, his trucks. We live pretty simple, actually, in our behind-the-scenes life. Well, I know one thing he liked was that Cowboys cheerleading outfit. I didn't know he did like that one. I think that one kind of, you know, caught him by surprise, but I did try it on for him before I went to do it, because I didn't want to embarrass him. So he Girl, got to see- smoking. And I said, what do you think? He said, it's a little short, don't you think? I said, it's not as short as theirs. Um, <laughs> OK. But anyway, he loved it. And yeah. it seemed like everybody else did. I was doing the Cowboys halftime show. And I thought, well, if I pull it off, they'll think it's cute. And if some people don't like it, they'll just think it was some stupid old lady. Not only is she a singer, but she's also a producer, entrepreneur, and even a baker. Now, do you think you're kind of a workaholic? Well, I don't think I am. I work really hard. I guess you'd, you'd think that, but I like to have a little time now and then to lay back. I know I'm a foodaholic. <laughs> <laughs> Dolly has her own Duncan Hines line of sweet treats. I love baking up my family's favorite southern recipes, like chocolate cake. And Dolly has always been our favorite. That's not gonna change.